Penn State linebacker Glenn Carson with us now, and this, of course, is linebacker U, such a great tradition here. Now, most recently, obviously, Michael Maudie had a great career, Gerald Hodges as well. Both those guys gone. You're kind of the next man up. How does that feel? It's definitely an honor here to be playing at Penn State linebacker year. There's so many great linebackers here before me, and it's just an honor. And, you know, I'm trying to keep that tradition of hard, hard work and uh, keeping my head down and, and continuing to work. So just like the linebackers before me. Glenn, do you guys talk about linebacker you a lot among, among yourselves? Uh, not so much. We're just trying to keep the traditions that the linebackers have done here before us. And we continue to watch film and learn from the good plays that they've made and, and the bad plays that they've made. And, you know, we still watch film and, you know, we still respect those guys so much. And it's just a brotherhood. What's changed for you coming into this year? Obviously, leadership and being the starter. What, what is there anything else to change for you as far as communications or anything that you really want to focus on? I'm really tr taking in every single day that I'm here because it's my it's my last everything I do here at Penn State now it's my last time doing it so I really just want to take it all in every single day at camp I'm, I'm just trying to enjoy it and trying to improve every single day and and learn as much as I can and there's so much more that I have to learn and you know, I'm just continuing to try to get better he's trying to enjoy camp how funny is that <laughs> yeah yeah I keep mean, trying right <laughs> good luck on that <laughs> Uh, Glenn Howard mentioned leadership. Uh, who are some of the best leaders you've been around your years at Penn State, and what's your leadership style? Um, obviously, Michael Maudie comes to my mind first. Uh, Drew Astorino was a great leader on the defense for us, and Brett Brackett on the offensive side in past years. And you know, I'm kind of a lead by example kind of guy. I'm not a huge rah rah guy. You know, I like to work. I, I love playing the game. I'm really passionate about it, and I just hope that you know guys follow follow my lead and. And, and get up and stay energetic throughout throughout practice and just really enjoy their time here like, like I did. For good linebackers, you have to have a good defensive line that's yeah. got to be active. Talk to us a little bit about some of the guys that are up front that are going to help you this year. Yeah, we got some great defensive linemen, uh, like always at Penn State, and that's really what, what helped linebacker linebacker you come about is those great defensive linemen. Right now we have Daquan, Daquan Jones and Deion Barnes. They're, they're phenomenal athletes, and I'm really happy to have them in front of me. New defensive coordinator with John Butler. How does that change things? He's a great DC. I really enjoy playing for him. He's really energetic. You know, he loves the game just as much as I do. He's always running around like a maniac on the field. <laughs> so it's really enjoyable to play for him. Um, he's high energy. So days like this in camp where it's hot and, you know, guys don't really want to be out there so much, you know, Coach Butler's energy really brings a lot to, to the team. Glenn Carson, congratulations on all your success and good luck this year. Thank you. Thanks for having me.